All right, there we go, guys. Got one fish on. Drop shot on the Mega Live. And the other one on Fish Head Spin on the Mega Live. Saw this one on full review. There was a few of them out there, cast it out and got that one. All right, about to head back to the lab. I will give you guys an update in just a minute, but time to head home. What's up, guys? This is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com. And as you saw from my last video, my Hummingbird Mega Live has arrived. I got it installed the same day that it came. It was pretty quick and simple. Um, I'll show you a few little snippets of that and probably in the next video because I'm going to add in a, a power panel and um, just cha change up a few things as far as the wiring goes with that. So once I get that completed, I'll show you guys how I uh, pretty much got it installed. But... I was able to get out to the lake today. Um, it was pretty exciting for me heading out there for the first time. Um, just putting in a little work, trying to get used to the system. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. So the first thing I would say is once you get out to the water with these new systems, regardless of what type of technology it is, there is going to be a learning curve. So don't, so do not go out there expecting to just go out there and be an expert at it and everything's just gonna flow easy, nice and smooth, go out there and just start catching fish right off the bat. That can happen, but I would say just go out there expecting to put in a little time to understand the technology, how it works, go through the settings. I'll put a link in the description area for one of the videos that I put out that kind of walks through a bunch of different settings and things that you wanna look at in here. Um, well, when I first got to the lake, what I did is I just turned around and just started scanning in landscape mode right there at the boat ramp, the actual boat ramp itself. So you can see the curb and things like that. Um, I, I, there's a video where I showed you how to set up your side imaging, your uh, Mega 360, those type of things using the boat ramp, using rocks, using laydowns and just getting everything tweaked in. So I would, I, I'll put a, a video for that also. Maybe I'll put that together tomorrow um, so you guys can take a look at that and that will assist you with kind of fine tuning some of the um, settings on there before you head out and actually start using the system so that you'll get a better idea of what you are looking at. And another thing that I found that really helped out as far as landscape mode goes is um, having that running side by side with a 360. So the 360 mega imaging unit, if you are familiar with that, once you get out there and start using the landscape mode in mega um, in the mega live uh, settings, you'll kind of be able to differentiate between the things that you're seeing. So when you see a, a rock pile or some laydowns or something on that mega 360, and you see that in contrast immediately right there side by side with the mega live, it will give you a very good idea of what you are looking at at that moment. So I didn't really spend too much time on that because my main focus is going to be using the forward view settings. And with the forward view, my main, my main um, goals with that is to see um, how far out I can locate fish and also how far out I can see my bait whenever it starts showing up on the um, screen. So a uh, quick tip, one of the things that I would try if you haven't been out there yet or if you're planning to go or if you've already been, been out on the lake, Next time you go out there, try using the persistence mode in the low setting. That may help you with tracking your bait um, coming back to the boat because it leaves a small trail behind it. It will also help you with locating the fish whenever you see the fish on the screen. So if you're looking in some type of cover like a brush pile or something like that, you will be able to see the fish as they move around a little bit. So that can help you out. So for me, um, I started off throwing a 10 XD, something very big so that I can see um, see it pretty easily whenever it was coming back uh, to the boat. As you saw, Jacob Wheeler in his video, he was throwing an Alabama rig, which is very big and very easy to see at a longer distance. So I went from a 10 XD, then I threw a fish head, uh, fish head spin, um, swim bait, just a few different things like that, just so I can get an idea of um, what I would be looking for once I did start fishing. So make sure you watch this video to the end. I do have some footage where I was able to um, hook up with a few fish out there today. Um, but overall, I hope this information is helpful to you guys. 
make sure you leave some comments down in the comment section. If you already have a Mega Live system yourself and you have been out, um, give us an update. How are things working out for you? What is it that um, you like about it? What are some things that you're looking to improve as you learn more about the technology? And like I said, for me, um, what I'm going to continue working on is just locating my bait and being able to track that back to the boat and see the fish follow it, which I was able to accomplish today. Um, so, hey, I mean, today I consider it a successful day because I did learn a little bit. Um, let me go ahead and get into the video for the day. Just show you guys a little bit of footage from when I was out on the lake today. Make sure you hit the like button. Please subscribe, guys. I really appreciate the guys that have been supporting the channel. Be sure to look back at the last few videos that I've been putting out. There's a lot of good information as far as um, people leaving good comments, good information that can help you out. Things that if you don't know about, they can really cut back on that learning curve for you guys. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Here we go, guys. I basically have it on a split screen with my sonar because that is the technology that I'm used to as far as drop shotting and everything like that. So what I was saying as far as whenever I was seeing fish under the boat, right here I would drop shot to those fish. But out here, these fish are about 20 to 30 feet away. There's like a, a brush pile or some type of structure right there. Um, you can spend some time getting this thing dialed in a little bit better, but this is my first day out here on the lake with it. And I pretty much know from using uh, down imaging and sonar, whenever I start seeing things on the screen, what I'm looking at. So I don't necessarily have to get it tweaked in all the way in order for me to fish it. But as I stay out here longer, I'll go ahead and put in a little, little more time just to see how clear I can get the images and things like that. But basically all I was doing was, um, just panning around so as you can see up here I'm just panning this left and right and you will be able to see brush piles bait fish let's see as I'm turning this and the other thing that you have to get used to guys is just panning this left and right without pressing the uh, you know pe pressing the, the pedal to make the trolling motor actually start engaging so you just want to go left and right out here all right, so I'm not seeing anything at the moment, but let me just move around. So the great thing about this is that you can stay in one place and just kind of pan around left and right. You can see I have the boat icon on right here, so it tells you which direction the, um, the transducer is facing. Okay, so there we go. There were some fish right there. Uh, let me see if I can go back. There we go. So you can see those fish right there. And basically at that point, all you have to do is just line up your cast with the direction that this is facing and just cast straight out in that direction. Um, the other thing that, that there would definitely be a learning curve with this, guys, is being able to get your bait within that cone. I think Hummingbird has a 20-degree uh, cone. Garmin Live Scope has a 20 20 degree cone and Lawrence active target has a um, 18 degree cone let me just put this on full screen right here so the other thing you'll want to do is just go through here and set up your shortcut so I have that first one on full screen the second one I put that one on the split screen with mapping and this third one I'll put it on uh, forward view and well live imaging and sonar and that's basically because sonar is what I'm used to and this kind of gives me a gauge to let me know what I am seeing on that screen whenever things are showing up on the mega live system all right so let me see okay so there we go there's some bait fish right there so that right there when you just hone in on it and like I said this is my first day out here so I'm not really doing it justice guys but you can see there was um, some some bass right below that bait ball right there so you can cast watch your bait go down there we go they're chasing they're going into that bait ball there's three bass right there all right let me go ahead and cast and see if i can catch one of those Oh, 
Oh, hey, hey guys, this is my first mega live fish. I'll show you guys on the screen what I was doing, but I've been out here for a while just getting everything, just getting everything tuned in, getting used to this, uh, Alright, there we go guys. So this is my first day out here testing out the Mega Live system. Clean the screen off of you guys. Alright, there we go. Now that that was fun right there. Um, been out here for a few hours just trying to get everything tweaked. There's definitely going to be a learning curve with this guy, so you can't expect to just come out here and just get things going right away. Because you gotta, you kind of have to get used to the technology and the different way of fishing based on the way that you may be used to seeing your down image in a sonar. When there's something that's under the boat on your down image in a sonar, on the uh, forward view on it, um, a lot of times I'll see something and I want to drop straight down on it, but that fish may be 10, 20 feet out in front of the boat. So these feet, I mean these fish were maybe about 30 feet or so out in front of the boat. I was just moving around, I saw these fish, picked up that fish head spin, threw right to it and got that fish. All right, there we go guys. Got one fish on. Drop shot on the Mega Live. And the other one on, fish head spin on the Mega Live. Saw this one on full review. There was a few of them out there, cast it out and got that one. All right, about to head back to the lab. I will give you guys an update in just a minute, but time to head home. 